Hi everyone. Today we are going to practice drawing histopath diagram of verrucous carcinoma. If you have not subscribed to Dentozen till now, subscribe to Dentozen. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Also hit the bell icon so that you remain notified about the new videos. So let's come to the histopath diagram of verrucous carcinoma. Now the term verrucous means something which is growing upwards with blunt projections on the surface. So in this, the epithelium is dysplastic carcinoma, but basement membrane is intact so that is the difference from squamous cell carcinoma so in this we are going to show epithelium where minimal dysplastic features are there so that is the first point epithelium with minimal dysplastic features now because this epithelium is growing outwards as well as inwards the red ridges become broad so in this, there is a specific shape of red ridges, which is called broad or elephant foot red ridges. That is important point. Broad or elephant foot red ridges. That is very, very important point about the histopath of verrucous carcinoma. Now in this, there is a lot of keratin production. That is the next point. The epithelium is growing upwards, outwards. So between the epithelium, there are some spaces which are called cleft-like spaces. And these cleft-like spaces in this epithelium get filled with paracaratin. Cleft-like spaces filled with paracaratin. And this filled paracaratin gives an appearance of a plug and that is the hallmark feature of verrucous carcinoma that is paracaratin plugging. Now the connective tissue in the verrucous carcinoma is going to show dense inflammation. So connective tissue with dense inflammation can be seen. So let's draw these features. So we have to draw an epithelium which is growing upwards as well as downwards. So both exophytic, it's growing upwards like blunt projections as well as it is growing downwards. And the shape of the red ridges is broad. That is very important that you have to take care of while drawing this diagram. You have to take care of the shape of the red ridges. They have to be broad. Now, the epithelium is showing minimal dysplasia. We'll see basal cell layer, which is made up of cuboidal cells, low columnar cells. Above that, we'll draw normal epithelium with minimal dysplastic features. So we'll show the normal layers. So here you can see that basement membrane remains intact. So we'll show epithelium. So in this epithelium, we are showing that it is growing outwards as well as downwards. And on the surface of the epithelium, we can see clefts between the epithelium and these clefts. Here you can see the clefts between the epithelial projections. That's why the term verrucous. And these clefts are filled with a lot of keratin, para-keratin. So we'll show it here. So here we have to draw a lot of keratin, which is filling these spaces between the epithelium. You can show a lot of keratin filling the spaces. And 
and this is parageratin so we have to show pyknotic nuclei parageratin means presence of pyknotic nuclei and this parageratin is filling the spaces like a plug so it is called parageratin plugging so here you can show nuclei because it is parageratin in some places you can show dysplastic features dark staining nucleus maybe somewhere and other places it will be normal epithelium Where we can see so in the connective tissue. We have to show inflammatory cells. So we show dense inflammation in the connective tissue. And we can draw some collagen fibers, blood vessels, we can show nuclei of blood vessels, we can show some RPCs. So that is varicose carcinoma for us. Now let's quickly label all these features. Now this is the first feature, epithelium with dysplastic features, minimal dysplastic features. Second is broad red edges or elephant foot shaped red edges. Then cleft like spaces which are filled with paracaratin. And this space when get filled with paracaratin, it gives an appearance which is called paracaratin plugging which is a hallmark feature of varicose carcinoma. Then connective tissue with dense inflammation. That is the diagram of varicose carcinoma for you. If you really like the video, tap on the like button. Keep watching more videos on histopath diagrams on Dentozen. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.